Hey, it's Alex Mantra with Central. We've just got done with seeing Huawei's first foldable phone here at NWC 2019. So let's jump in with some first impressions. This is the Huawei Mate X. It's super thin, supposedly super fast, and quite unlike any of the foldables we've seen so far. The basic shape is what you might call an outie design. The screen's on the outside as opposed to the Samsung Galaxy Fold, which has its screen on the inside and has a secondary display on the shell. All of which means the Mate X can be split into three different display configurations depending on how it's folded. When it's fully flat, it gives you an 8-inch squarish tablet display. In everyday phone mode, it's got a 6.6-inch 18.5x9 panel, about the same size as a regular large phone. And around the back of that fold is a 6.38-inch 25x9 secondary display area. That orientation and number of screen configurations takes a while to wrap your head around, but actually makes a lot of sense in terms of how the Mate X is put together. The folded out tablet display is simply all screen, with dimensions and stats that compare favorably to a smaller tablet. You get all the benefits of an Android tablet, such as they are, like multi-window support and easier navigation in apps like Gmail. The phone size panel is exactly what you'd expect. No notch, because there's no need for a front-facing camera. It looks an awful lot like a modern full-screen smartphone, only a little bit thicker. But before we digress, let's get to why you actually don't need a front-facing camera. Well, that's because you just flip the device around and you've got a portion of the screen right there next to the quad Leica camera array. And the placement of the camera in this area lets you do a few interesting things. In tablet mode, you've got yourself a giant viewfinder and a camera array that should be as good as that of any flagship smartphone. In phone mode, you can let the subject of your shot see what they look like with a rear-facing preview. And you can see yourself when you're taking a selfie without the need for a dedicated front-facing camera, meaning your selfies will look as good as portraits taken with the rear camera of a flagship phone. We can't actually show you any of this stuff working live because we're always being very careful about what it shows here at MWC, but we should have a lot more to show you soon, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss our future coverage. But there's more to the Mate X than the way the screen works. The device itself is super slim because it stores all the bulky components in this handle area where the cameras live. In fact, the display portion measures just 5.4 millimeters. Apply a little math to that, and it means that the folder device comes in just shy of 11 millimeters, which should still be reasonably pocketable. Let's touch on hardware specs before we wrap up. The Mate X runs a Kirin 980, same chip that powers the Mate 20 series, and it's paired with Huawei's Balong 5000 5G modem for speeds of up to 4.6 GHz on sub-6 5G networks. Those are impressive speeds, but they'll be more impressive when actual 5G networks exist in the real world. You've also got a capacitive fingerprint scanner tucked away on the side for biometric security. And it's all powered by a split 4,500 mAh battery using Huawei's latest supercharging technology. The latest version runs up to 55 watts to juice your phone up to 85% in just 30 minutes. So the Mate X looks like an impressive piece of technology. We'll have more to say when we've done a proper hands-on with it and spent more time with it. For sure, one of the big potential pitfalls is Huawei's reputation with Android software, which isn't the greatest. But of all the early foldables we've seen so far, this is definitely one of the more promising ones. That's it for now. Be sure to subscribe to see more from MWC 2019 here in Barcelona. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.